Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And as usual, let's go to the Lord in prayer before we begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for your Word. We thank you for the way that you want us to know about you and your Son, Jesus. We thank you for the way that you want us to know your ways. And I pray that you would teach us your ways today by your Holy Spirit. We ask that you'd guide us into all truth. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Faith That Works by Love. And it's taken from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 6. There were those among the church members in Galatia who were convinced they needed to return to following not only the keeping of the law of God, but also the rituals within it to be righteous. The false teaching Judaizers convinced them that if they practiced these ways in addition to faith in Jesus Christ, they would be saved. Paul the Apostle has been dismantling their teachings by calling out those who deemed circumcision as one of those acts of righteousness. He told them that if there was a need to return to following the law of God and the act of circumcision, then there was no need for Jesus. However, they nor we can keep the law of God perfectly. So now we hope for righteousness that will be appropriated to us when we see Jesus one day. Paul goes on to say in chapter 5 and verse 6, For in Jesus Christ neither circum circumcision avails anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which works by love. Before Paul the Apostle leaves the subject of circumcision, he desires that his words are clearly understood on the subject. He begins, For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision avails anything nor uncircumcision. It is not by the outward appearance that anyone is made righteous. Those among the Galatians who thought themselves more saved because of a cutting away of the outward flesh were deceived. The word employed by Paul is avails, which means to be strong, to have power as shown by extraordinary deeds, to be a force, serviceable, to be able. The idea is that neither circumcision nor uncircumcision puts a person in a better position with God. No, rather, the position in Jesus Christ is what is most important. Paul continues, but faith which works by love. The work that is done has been completed by Jesus, and now faith works by means of love. It is the love of God which is poured out upon those who trust in, rely upon, and cling to Jesus Christ. It's no longer the outward observance of the law which justifies a person, but rather the love of God working by faith in that individual. The key component to which they may become righteous before them is the way that, and that way is through Jesus Christ. Having a relationship with him is the only way to uh, become righteous. That is the key component to begin to understand the doctrine of grace that it is in work in all of God's people. Lest we be too harsh on these misled Galatian believers, perhaps we should examine our own lives and determine whether we are relying upon any outward expression within our lives for our salvation. Do we observe certain rituals, traditions, rules, or patterns that make us feel more holy than others? Or are we dependent upon the faith which works by love that is offered by God the Father? May we all meditate upon our practices and realize that our true hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' love and righteousness. Next time, Paul will ask the Galatians who it is that hindered them. So read ahead and let us join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.